can bring to earth the people from the ashes of the old, for the union makes us strong. union that's got a hundred million dollars set aside to crush us. We are willing to work if they'll give us a contract. This time it is a question of survival. Both sides, the Pittston Coal Company and the United Mine Workers, spent more than a year getting ready for this strike. Some say both are making their last stand for control of this hard mountain country. Daryl Sutherland is a coal miner with family roots that reach deep into these mountains. His wife Avis lost both her father and a brother to the coal mines. But they still want to raise their four children here, even though they know that with the strike, life will get harder before it gets better. We don't want a violent situation to go on. If the Pittston somehow disrupts the union till they're not continuing any longer, then, you know, it'll be their loss, I can say that. The conflict is not about money. Right now, starting pay is $14.50 an hour. The strike is about power and the company's control over the miners' contracts. For miners and their families, giving in means giving up. And now the Pittston Coal Group, like so many other companies and so many other places where unions have gained a stronghold, is telling this union that they can no longer afford to play by their rules. The union must give in, Pittston says, or the company will not survive. You're talking about we provide direct or indirect uh, jobs for 10,000 people. That's the whole economy of this area. <laughs> that's, a, that's the whole economy of uh, this part of Virginia southern West Virginia and East Kentucky. When you have payments and a uh, family that needs taken care of, you, you, you have to do something. And that's what it's come down to. People like Melvin Matthews. They're running the strike lines, and there are hundreds of other non-union men like them who need jobs. They've got to do what seems necessary to them, and I have to do what's necessary to me. Uh, that's provide a living for my family. The company says economic realities are forcing them to work the mines without the union. Hard times could mean many may cross the picket lines. But if they do, the miners say they'll give away the union. And the union is all they've ever had. against a, a major union that's got a hundred million dollars set aside to crush us and that's their objective is to crush this company and put us out of business. If Pittston was wise they give them what they asked for and give them their contract and let these men work and be proud to have them. <laughs>